guys welcome back to show tips in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix keyboard is not working in windows 11 after the update and how you can completely fix this up so let's get started so first thing what you have to do is when you're having this trouble you just have to use your uh, cursor and you just have to click over here in the search and from here you just have to uh, go for settings okay you just have to go for settings then you just have to click on this and from here you just have to go to accessibility and on the left side you just have to scroll down and click on keyboard and you just have to use the on screen board which i am representing you guys which you can use in between but in the video we will be uh, going through the uh, usual process because i don't want to con uh, confuse you guys but you can use the use screen in order to continue further once it is done you just have to uh, close this up and you have to move to the instructions okay we, we're gonna try out some of the steps so the first one is you just have to go here in the search and you have to search for run command. You have to search for run command and you have to open this and you have to search for rigid it. You have to search for rigid it. Okay. Now you just have to go for okay and this will go for it and go for yes. Okay. Now from here as you can see that so uh, I have already uh, made some changes not the changes uh, these are the past something which I have done in the registry editory so I'm going to minimize all these things okay okay guys. so now this is how it looks like and from here what do you have to do is you just have to select H key local machine and you have to expand this from here you have to navigate to system you have to select this and you just have to expand this and from here what you have to do is you just have to select a folder named current control set you have to select this and you have to expand this and from here you have to select uh, services you have to select services and you have to expand this and from here what you have to do is just have to scroll down and you have to find uh, a folder named 18042 just have to find the folder so let's uh, keep scrolling in between so guys here it is 18042 port so you just have to select this and from here you have to double click on the start and as you can see that the value is 3 0 right sorry 3 right you just have to change the value to 1 once the value is being changed you have to go for ok and you have to go for further because i'm not going to do any change because i'm not having the issue but for those who are having the issue just have to change the value to 1 this is the first step okay and once it is done you have to follow the next is which is very simple you have to click over here and you have to search for device manager you have to search for device manager and open this now over here you just have to navigate to keyboard and you have to expand this from here you just have to right click and you have to do very easy process which is called update the drivers and see whether you are on the latest version this is what you have to do once it is also been done successfully then what you have to do is you just have to uh, go over here you just have to click over here in the search and you have to search for cmd and you have to run it at uh, sorry you just have to run it at administrator so you have to search for uh, cmd once again so uh, let's click on run as administrator and go for yes okay once it is being done so i'll be providing few links in, uh, commands in the description which you just have to copy paste it like this just copy this okay now you just have to paste this what you have to do is just have to copy paste each command okay you just have to copy paste each command and you have to paste it okay you have to paste it and press enter now we have next command you just have to copy this okay, you just have to copy this and you have to paste it and you just have to press enter and once again you have next command you just have to copy it and you just have to paste it okay you just have to paste it and okay when well we have a few more which is two more is there you just have to copy it and you have to paste it and we have the last one which is called sfc scan now so you just have to copy this and you have to paste this and i think most of you guys will be knowing this because it's going to take a little bit of time but this is what you have to do and also uh, um, i made a mistake over here which is you have to run the command as run as administrator so in most cases this will be happening because people directly open the command prompt and they paste it but you have to run it as administrator and you have to do and after that just do a restart and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful for you guys and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out